Well, for more on the political drama in Zimbabwe, Dewa Mavinga, the South and Africa Director of uh, Human Rights Watch, joins me live uh, via Skype from Johannesburg. Dewa, uh, welcome to Africa 54 once again. Thank you. <laughs> now, Thank it you. Looks, uh, there's some development in Harare. It looks like, uh, despite his stubbornness, Mugabe's on the way out, right? Well, I, I would caution that uh, not so fast, uh, because... At the moment, uh, Mugabe has the law on his side uh, in the sense that uh, he has to volunteer or he has to move voluntarily. Uh, the military cannot um, outrightly force him because of the uh, implications of an outright coup. And therefore, uh, he has some time. Uh, in his speech last night, he was talking of uh, presiding over uh, the upcoming ZANU-PF Congress in mid-December. So in his mind, he is still around. But uh, an impeachment uh, can effectively take him out without uh, an appearance of a military coup, right? Yes, but it is not that simple and straightforward in the sense that uh, uh, ZANU-PF would need to command uh, at least a two-thirds majority of the total membership of the two houses of parliament, the National Assembly and the Senate. And some members of ZANU-PF are loyal to Mugabe, remain loyal to him and his wife, and therefore will not vote for impeachment. And yesterday, ahead of uh, uh, Mugabe's uh, speech, which was thought to be a resignation, uh, some of the key members in ZANU-PF, uh, Chinamasa and uh, Mpofu, uh, began to say we do not need the opposition because we can get rid of Mugabe on our own, because this is an internal affair. And that kind of reckless uh, utterance has actually alienated the opposition, which means that they may be rethinking their position on whether or not they should be helping ZANU-PF uh, to get rid of Mugabe. But when you look at the mood of the country, we've seen rallies, you've seen protests on the streets. Uh, does the party seem like it will in any way, however much uh, some people may support him, want to maintain Mugabe in the position of presidency? Well, what is key here, Vincent, is not the party or the people. It is actually the military that, in the first place, put Mugabe under house arrest and forced his hand. So it depends on what kind of negotiations and deal Mugabe can cobble out with the military. It appears their talks are very opaque, they are shrouded in secrets, no one really knows what's happening. Uh, there is a lot of speculation and misinformation, but the reality is that uh, the key to the future, to Mugabe's future and to what happens next, lies in the talks between Mugabe and the security forces and not with ZANU-PF as a party. ZANU-PF has purportedly recalled Mugabe from the party, but it cannot force its hand to recall Mugabe as head of state and government. Uh, this would need to happen through parliament. And of course, in parliament, the numbers are not guaranteed because some of the members of ZANU-PF have been uh, fired, they've been expelled, others are in hiding, and we have heard that some of them are in military detention. So it will not be so simple to have uh, a constitutional and legally enforceable, enforceable uh, impeachment process. Now, Dewa, let's indulge in some speculation here also. Uh, what are some of the uh, you know, possibilities that the military and Mugabe could get into? Uh, what is the best way forward? Well, uh, if you go back uh, to the demands that were put forward by General Chiwenga uh, when he threatened that the military might step in, the demands were not focused on Mugabe per se. The demands were that uh, they should stop the faction of the G40 or M the ascendance of Mugabe's wife and the return of uh, the expelled vice president, Emerson Mnangagwa. So what could actually happen is that Mugabe could agree with uh, the military, that uh, they would go to Congress and open up for Mnangagwa a space to go in. And they might even agree that Mugabe finishes his term of office, uh, which is due to expire uh, by July, August 2018, when fresh elections are due. So that could actually yeah. be an arrangement that could be acceptable to the military. Interesting. We'll be observing things. Uh, Dewa, thank you very much. We do appreciate your insights. That's uh, Dewa Mavinga. He's a South and Africa uh, Director of Human Rights Watch, and he joined us live via Skype from Johannesburg.